Oh, you know what? Let's go to Martha's Rest just to get this quest started. Um, and if it's quick, then we can just bang it out before we go to Northreach. My lord, Marcus, it is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. Continue. I am here at Martha's Rest, at the behest of your lord, uncle. Tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord, uncle, huh? however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate, and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the seven high houses. Alas. Alas. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword. Yet in these dark times, even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic. The other, the old Imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. Okay. I can't believe I have to go back to Dalamil. Ah, I should have done this first. It's fine. Stupid. Stupid of me. So dumb. It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. Let's hope someone here has seen something. Mummy. The gentleman of the town died. Alright. I guess they're just going to be over here. I should go to the fields of Carava as well. himself in trouble there we go I don't see your master here so you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse I already told you I have nothing <laughs> and maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing uh, uh, please these men are trying to rob me I'll deal with this. Thank you. You that one's master, then. <laughs> if you kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. 
He hasn't had many visitors okay. since he slit his throat. Oh, the torch cock blocked me. Oh no. I just wanted to use the abilities for fun. There we go. I'd expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Hmm. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but... When I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more. And his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. Only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. Then it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. Huh. I'll find a caravan heading north. Uh, you won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? <laughs> Deserved. Fully deserved. Not at all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at North Reach and see if I can pick up his trail. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Now I need to go to North Reach. Man, I could have saved so much time. Uh... Right. There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. Ooh. There were ghosts at the gate, not days. All right. You needn't fret. I do again wish the side quests were a little bit more interesting. You know, they they're kind of bland, but I don't think that they're bad. So one of the pieces of discourse that like unfortunately made its way to me prior to playing this game, which is that people were saying like, the side quests are unforgivably bad and they ruin the game and they're nothing like old Final Fantasy side quests. Um, and my issue with this is that they're actually like too much like old Final Fantasy side quests. This is, I don't think that it, it ruins the game. Like we're literally just doing busy work for experience. Like that's what these side quests are. And they do flesh out the world a little bit and stuff, that's fine. But uh, the way people talked about it made it seem like they were the worst side quests in any video game ever. Um, but they aren't really. They're actually just like the most generic side quests in any video game ever, which is to say they are the same side quests I play in most video games and people do not deride those games for these side quests. So it's a little weird, but I do ultimately feel like they're a little bit um, bland. They aren't really doing too much, and we don't really get much for doing them. 
What happened here? If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. Uh. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. Mm. I'll take care of them. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach, visit the Vale, tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. All right. So now we gotta go beat up the assailants, I guess. More combat is always good. They just couldn't resist, could they? There we go. This one's ours, pretty boy. Get off. Don't love the way he said that. Open so that we can punish him. up a little bit. There we go, perfectly executed. Did I even take damage there? That would have been pure platinum. Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the Ducal throne. <laughs> it's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. 
I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. Good old Rutherford. wondering where I'd got to. I shall send a Bastolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. All right, got that cleared out then. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. All right, so we got to go through there. Anything else around here? No. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just run through, grab those things, and then we can return to uh, Rutherford, and then the uh, hideaway. Yeah, then we should be fine. And what can I do for you? I do like a customer who knows what he wants. And then maybe we can try fighting the Svarog again. An excellent choice. You know, I've been doing these quests and I still haven't like gained even a single level. There were ghosts at the gates, not daisies. Granted, I think we've only really completed one of them technically. Wish there was a sprint button. Or I wish I could just you know, use my chocobo in town. The meadows, then. What the? It's gonna take more time to get on my do a friggin' chocobo than it is to uh, <laughs> actually get over there if I just ran. Honestly, this game has been a pretty leisurely let's play. You know, I record a few hours a day. I'm looking for somewhere nearby. But it's pretty fun and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. Is it not just right here? This must be our right. Let's get this over with. Oh, oops. I uh cycled off of Harry thinking that I did not have it uh there we go ah Raptor liver. Some naturalists believe that the blue-black wyvern's proclivity to feed on carrion that results in their livers becoming so engorged, and that the saint's bonnets with which they follow their meals serve to ameliorate this effect. Others claim that it is the blooms themselves which cause the damage, the wyverns being so taken with the flowers' taste that they cannot resist. That's the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. Right over there. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her rest. All right. Great to Martha's rest.
I see you're still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly. All right. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish, as it is mine. Hmm. Reduces flare breath cooldown time by 2.7 seconds. All right, that's fine. Back to the hideout. And then after this, it's to those the fields of Karava to take on that hunt, I think. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. Oh, Saint's Bonnet. While this pungent herb, once known as Drake's Mint, has no known curative properties, it does have the ability to mask foul orders and flavors, which is why it is found in recipes involving particularly foul-smelling flesh, such as the lights and livers of wild beasts. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wine and liver. And, uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern and livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? <laughs> Gross. So, not fit for consumption, then. What? What witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force. A force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavor and sensation. A graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women? <laughs> to a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith. I'll give it some thought. Yuck. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, talk to Karen next. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul a gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whit for your well-being. 
Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. <laughs> well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, <laughs> Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as may be. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. Hmm. Continental sensor. According to Karen, a sensor packed with herbs and ambergris can ward off everything from insects uh, to the plague, protect a home from thieves and demons, and heal any number of ailments, all while bringing love and fortune. So you can read. Congratulations. Karen's great. Great character. Big, big fan. Uh, all right. Let's go back to... Uh, where is it? Where do I have to go? Isn't this where the Fields of Karava is? Alright, um, let me see. Something... Where's that? Fields of Karava is over here. There's a shop over there. So, yeah. Maybe I just need to, uh, go here. Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia. Where are these places? It did say south of Tabor. We haven't even gone there yet. Maybe we have to go this way. I don't know. I'll go to the fields of Caraba first. They said south of Tabor, which would be this way. It does say inaccessible, but maybe if I'm lucky, the the enemies will just be around here. I guess if not, I can just teleport. It's fine. Give me the stuffs. This would be easy. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. 
Ooh, there's an obelisk here though. That is good to know. He deserves a rest. Wow. Dravaged obelisk. You lost stranger. Wherever you're headed, it's back the way you came. <laughs> okay. All right, so I guess we have to go down this way, probably. I don't want to lose, uh, we can use the ruins. To uh, I don't want to lose alive. Joshua. The echoes have a will of their own. This leads to the Velcroy down here, except I can't go this way. Okay. Um, is this gonna be a maze? I guess not. I guess there's just this here. Juggle past the first juggle state of bombs. Alrighty. See, I got more experience for that than I did some of those side quests I did, and this was a two minute long fight. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. I really don't want to lose Joshua, so I might take the opportunity in a minute to just disappear and go fight this Varog. It is crazy how much experience just fighting random enemies gives you. All right, they're gonna have a side quest. Oh, I guess not. I guess it's someone else up here. Flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. 
The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. But we can't let those monsters reach the... is up ahead just off the track <coughs> they must not reach the table forgive me Lord Kuka hmm. as well soldier You said the right. one was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Where are they? Oh, they're there. Good. I got here in time. Get the big one out of the way first. Need to remember to pet Torgal after this. You're finished. Nice, two perfect jumps. Italian. I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Wait. 
Sid, I was there <laughs> in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. I was of my ill will. Coward. <laughs> Draw your steel. Lord Kuka shall be avenged. If you insist. For Tyson! <laughs> You're in no fit state to fight. And this should be easy for you. Come on. Kill me! For what? The sins of your master. You and I have no quarrel, and I will not strike a man who cannot defend himself. No, <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw, a murderer, not some, <laughs> some man like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Hmm. Alright, well, we got that handled. I guess we gotta go to Tabor. I'm really nervous about getting to this quest destination and Joshua leaving the party. Because he needs to find Yoke. So I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna try to take on Svarog. So, uh, we have to go to, back to Glorius, I think. Let's go do that. <laughs>